Your life has taken some turns and you've kept this as powerful and as exciting. What you were talking about is taking you to a deeper place about understanding that working with couples can have an impact on on wider things and on the way we yeah. treat each other in the yeah. universe. You want to talk about it because it's pretty exciting and it's something you're embarking on. So I think yeah. it's important that you engage other people in, in this. Well, I, I think that somehow my thought process and my life work has become more exciting uh, at sort of the end of a first of this phase of it uh, than it was in that phase. Mm -hmm. In fact, in some ways I look at all that I've done until now as preparation for what I'm now starting to do. Mm -hmm. um, and that is to expand uh, the work with couples into education and to move it from local to global. Mm -hmm. Because, um, and I've checked this out with a bunch of colleagues and I've checked it out with a bunch of people who are not couples therapists. Um, and that is that Couplehood is uh, the source or the fulcrum for social change. And in fact, to put it even stronger, if we don't change couplehood, we will never have sustainable social change. Because everything that we do in philanthropy and in government um, is downriver cleanup. And the, what's downriver that we're cleaning up are the pain, is the pain and suffering that happen upriver, including poverty, most diseases, crime, prisons, war, you name it. It all has to do with something that went wrong upstream in couplehood. So they can find some peace in that relationship and how to create yes. that there, that it becomes bigger and bigger, bigger and that bigger and bigger. grows, and rather than the way we're you know, and if we you fight with each other at all levels with our human family. And if you use the river okay. analogy, yes. if we can clean up the headwaters, then the river clears up and there's no downriver cleanup to do, meaning that we can do something else with our time and so money. We're and therapists. Have and have How peace can we earth. help you with well, this? The, What's our part of, of helping in this social change? Well, I'm, I'm glad you asked that because I, I think therapists are the are the front line. Uh, I don't like a war imagery, but it's a good it's a good term. We're the front line, so we're already on duty t for healing the world. And it seems to me that all we need to do as therapists is to become focused on the point, on the fulcrum, uh, and that is couplehood and the family. And you can do it with parenting. That's still upstream. You can do it with the family and you can do it with the couples. Personally, I'm going to do it with couples because I see them as the center of the family. Children are already a little downstream and I want to be as they're far... They're picking up what's th going they're, on. They're already okay. picking it up. So I think that every therapist who can get it, that their work is social value, not just personal value, but social value, they can begin to see their work as contributing to social transformation and begin having that conversation about the personal is uh, global. The, uh, wh whatever you do locally is experienced globally. That we don't have to become overwhelmed by the size of the project because we're not gonna hold the whole project and the whole world. We're gonna hold this couple that I'm with, this person I'm with, this family I'm with. And what we need to do is help all of them experience the restoration of empathic resonance. I think it was the loss of our empathic connection in childhood with our caretakers that has resulted in the kind of injury and pain and suffering and ultimately conflict in relationship that then gets expanded to and acted out on the world stage. And if we can change that locally, we can change it globally. And we're on, as I said, we're on site. We're already trained to do it. I think we've been called to do it. Mm -hmm. That's why we're here. We're not here just to, you know, One sit around and listen to people yeah. suffer. We're here to move into um, not only healing, but wholeness and prevention. It was so interesting, you, you, you said something today when you started to talk about that a bit, that you said that some of the couples that you've worked with who've been able to do this yes. and create empathic yes. resonance, it changed 
not only were they able to use it in their life, but it changed something. You, they are starting to tell you some stories about them going out into the world to want they to do They want that. a better world. In fact, I, 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 I when say you experience that because it, you a couple came to me at one time and said, where do we go with this? You know, it's, it's, um, we, we now feel connected and we feel excited. We feel, um, and, and we have no context within which to share this except to come back and talk to you or to other couples. I said, you know, well, form couples groups. And they said, well, we want to do more than just have a group to share. I said, well, what do you want? And they said, we want a better world. And, you know, that just sort of knocks me over. That called you. Yeah. To go forward. And so this particular couple said, you know, we're going to start by going and signing up to clean up two miles of the highway. You know, these signs, mm -hmm. these two miles. Mm -hmm. And they went out with their children every week and picked up paper to have a better world. This is deep. I mean, your work is going to a a wider level and a deeper level. Well, thank I you for that. I just find that amazing. It is amazing. It's transformational in a bigger way. Yeah. And it looks so little, you know. Mm -hmm. But So what came out of that was, my God, if this is what happens when people get well, mm -hmm. the whole world can move from violence to empathy. And if, if one can couple can create that, if one children can growing create, up in that family children grow up might just like construct yes, their, their bonds differently or call forward different partnerships and know how to heal it when they're in it. And yeah. children, all, you know, children grow up and they are the ones who people the social institutions of violence. And if they grow up empathic as empathic human beings, they will change the structures of society. Yes. So that schools and even police departments and you know businesses will all be based on a different principle, be based on the principle of empathy rather than judgment and criticism and put down. The world would grow yeah. better in that. Every kind of everybody would grow better, and diseases will become less. You know, there'll be less acting out, less addictions, probably no addictions. Well, it's going to be and interesting no to see yes. where this energy that you've brought together some people to. To yes. see where it can go and, and yeah, next, I've brought together forward. the leaders, some leaders in the mental health professions, and we're now becoming a group to focus our energy on this project together. And see well, you can, we can count do. us in and keep Good. your vision alive in us. I could talk forever with you, but <laughs> we're going to close this now. So we're going and to close really it up appreciate now. it. It's been a real pleasure. And for all of those in OPC, I hope that you have learned as much as I have from Harville Hendricks, and we continue on our path of learning together in this learning community. Thank you. Thank you. That was my pleasure. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> oh, thank you for asking. <laughs>